woman was left mortified when she lied to Meghan Markle about picking flowers from her garden, only to reveal they were a bargain bunch from Tesco. Laura Ann Barr is a fan of the royals so thought to bring along a flower bouquet to give to Meghan as a kind gesture when she was attending an engagement. Armed with a purple and yellow array of flowers that she had bought from the supermarket giant, Laura Ann waited patiently to give them to the mum of two. But, the meeting with Meghan wasn't so straightforward. After Laura Ann gave the bouquet to Meghan, the royal asked if she had picked them from her garden. In a moment of panic, Laura Ann nodded her head and said yes without any hesitation. Phew, that was a close one. Thankful for the gesture, Meghan shook Laura Ann's hand and said, That's so sweet, I love them. Thank you for thinking of me, that is really really kind. Pleased with her freshly picked bouquet, Meghan walked away with a beaming smile. But Laura Ann revealed on TikTok where the flowers really came from. She said, That time I panicked lied to Meghan that the flowers I gave her were from my garden, they were really just from Tesco. They are whatever you want them to be Meghan. The lighthearted video has since racked up 2.4 million views and 456,000 likes. Tickled by the supermarket flower blunder, many people fled to the comments to share their thoughts on the situation. One person commented, I can't stop laughing, no hesitation at all. Another user voiced, imagine her finding a barcode on the wrapping paper. A third person joked, the lady in the background eyeing you up knowing that you were lying. Someone else said, panic lying doesn't count. As a fifth person remarked, yeah but why did she just assume that? Another news, the Sussexes were reported to have donated to a local Christmas parade in the area earlier this week. Although the couple have not outlined their Christmas plans, they are unlikely to spend it at Sandringham with the Queen. Her Majesty's Norfolk estate has hosted the royal family's Christmas celebrations for decades. However, last year the firm did not gather at the royal residence during the festive period due to the country's COVID-19 restrictions. The pandemic has again affected the royals' plans this year as the Queen was forced to cancel her traditional pre-Christmas lunch due to the risk of the virus spreading. During Meghan and Harry's first Christmas as a couple in 2016, the pair were said to have spent the holiday separated from one another. Meghan, who was still an actress on U.S. legal drama suits at the time, was reported to have flown back to Toronto. Just weeks after the couple's relationship was revealed by the Sunday Express, they were then apart at Christmas, according to reports at the time. The Sun newspaper quoted a friend of the couple, who detailed their movements during the festive period. They claimed, they'll be apart for Christmas as they're both spending the festive season with their families. Meghan has loved her time in London, but she'll be going back home next week. Harry has the traditional royal family Christmas at Sandringham. They're hoping to go on holiday together in the new year. They won't be apart for long. Meghan was reported to have traveled to Los Angeles to be with family after first jetting back into Canada. Meanwhile, Prince Harry traveled to Sandringham to take part in the traditional royal Christmas with other members of his family. He attended church with other royals, although not the Queen, who was recovering from a heavy cold at the time. Meghan and Harry celebrated Christmas together in 2017, the year before they tied the knot. Their attendance at the Queen's Norfolk estate was a departure from the royals' usual protocol as Meghan was still Harry's fiancé at the time. Christmas at Sandringham is normally a privilege reserved only for royals and their spouses. This week. The Sussexes have been getting into the Christmas spirit in Montecito. The couple were reported to have donated to the area's inaugural Christmas parade, which was held with the theme, Holiday Magic. Meghan and Harry were the first to sponsor the parade, which it is hoped will become an annual event, according to the Montecito Journal.